want to say thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Grace to God, we thank you. Thank Amen. you. Just thank you for being God. Amen. Thank you for showing us mm -hmm. favor. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now, Lord, thou your servant is standing before you, people. Mm -hmm. To proclaim the word. <coughs> Help him. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 If you got your Bibles with you, once again, I want to thank everybody for everything you've done today. Amen. I want to thank you for the ministry and music. Yes. I want to thank the ushers for being the you know, ministry and usher. Amen. 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 Thank the musicians for just being ministers of God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible with you, if you turn to Matthew, the third chapter. 13 through 17 is the verses we read previously today. Amen. Amen. But I want to look at verse 16. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And lightning upon him. Amen. Amen. And lightning upon him. I want to use for a subject today. Simply, the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. God's Spirit. We call him the Holy Ghost now. The Holy Spirit now. The Spirit of God. I think I told you this before, but just. This is one of the few times in the Bible where you see God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in the same place. Jesus. Amen. 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 You have, you have, you have, you have Jesus being baptized by John. All right. Coming about the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you look and it says the Spirit of God. All right. Amen. Descended on him like a dove. Yes. Yes. And then you hear a voice. Hey. So we say, this is my son. Amen. With whom I'm well pleased. Amen. It's one of the few times where we see the, 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 the Trinity come together. And I want you to pay close attention to it. Even though they're in the same place, all of them have their own position. All right. The Father still will be happy. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. The Holy Spirit is sending out like a dove. That's right. He's making preparation mm. oh, yes. to take the step in line. Yeah. Right. Jesus is in the water being That's baptized. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. When we when, when we think about this text and 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 and, 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 and we think about Matthews, the beginning of this text, we find John preaching. He, he's preaching about repentance. Uh -huh. yeah. right. I know in the last few years that they say now it began to dry up a little bit, but not all the way. But you hear talk about prosperity gospel and all they talk about how to get rich. They say don't want to get rich. You got to, you got to be nice. Mm -hmm. But that ain't true. Mm -hmm. God has prospered me. And sometimes it ain't with material. Come on yeah. here, man. Come on here. It, 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 I woke up and I wasn't depressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I got up and I can move. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. I, I, I didn't have exactly what I wanted to eat for breakfast the moment. Yeah. I got something. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. I didn't have that Maserati party with y'all. But I got here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and the thing about it, it, it didn't bring God on the way. Hey. Yeah. Thank, huh? you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. God does some great things for us. Yes, he does. Yes. 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 While John was preaching, he was telling the people to seek God's purpose yes. for their life. Yes. yes. To every one of us in here, God got a purpose for us being here. Who am I? I ain't got nothing. You don't know what you got. Come on here. God called called Mary. He had nothing. 
See, so sometimes God wants us to come yes. empty. Yeah. So he can fill Thank us you. up. Yeah. 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 A lot of times we want to go already full. Yeah. <laughs> How you gonna put more gas in the tank? In the tank already full. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when someone gives away some free gas and you go there with a full tank, how do you put free gas in a full tank? <laughs> huh? Am I right? Yeah. So sometimes God wants us to come empty. Yeah. And if we go to him empty, he wants to fill up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Some of us got too much pride. Yeah. Right and God can't do nothing with us. Yeah. Pride comes before the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no wrong to have a little pride. Uh -huh. Some of us got too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A puff up pride. <laughs> <laughs> pride ain't no good. Yeah. Messed up pride. Yeah. Yeah. And it said John also started preaching about heaven. Yes, yeah. sir. See, see, what we need to understand is that we need to always give people a hope. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. I know, most people already know they're messed up in life. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And, and a lot of times when we go to them, we don't give them no hope. We don't give them no escape. No. We just act nasty. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ain't nobody told you to do that. Yeah. Told you. And all we do, if you think about it, we just putting our foot on them. Amen. And we don't want them to move up. Do you realize that there are people in the world and sometimes in your own family, you have to be mindful of, they do not want you to achieve. Because if you achieve that mean, they, you, you looking better than them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 I don't know about you, I don't want to be that pity on me. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want to have no pity on me, because when you have pity on me, you use me. Uh -huh. When you have pity on me, you talk about me. Come on now, ain't that right? Amen. You see people, yeah, you know, she can't do nothing. I had to help. I just did. Ah. Keep it to yourself. I'm talking to somebody now. When, 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 when they got you down. Amen. Amen. I told you the other week they don't sell things no black sheep. Huh? I don't believe in no black sheep. I believe my circumstances may not be like your circumstances. You understand what I mean? If I ain't no black sheep. The same God you serve, the same God I serve. Yeah. 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 And you don't want to be a black sheep. Yeah. Because you want you, you we gotta quit playing the victim. Yeah. Yeah. Go with me. Okay, yeah. go with you. Yeah. Get up and do something about oh, it. Yeah. Sin that ain't sin that's not gonna solve the problem. Oh, yeah. You gotta do something. Yeah. First thing you do is pray. When you get off your knees from praying, then you get an action. Quit waiting on somebody. If I got the ability yes. to, go, to go get myself a glass of water, I don't want to keep doing it every now and then. I don't mind, but I can get them to go get them myself because after a while, you want to handicap me. You're going to say, I can't get you to go get my own water. I can go get my water. <laughs> Now, 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 pay attention to that now. People will handicap you if you, if you allow them to. Come on now. Huh? Yes. Those of us who passed 60, yes. and you got family members, everybody around, watch them. Yes. Mom, you sit there, I go, oh, baby, I go get it, I go get it, I go get it, uh -huh. you ain't handicapping me. As long as I can move, I'm going to get mine. Huh? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes. Now don't get me wrong, every now and then ain't nothing wrong today sitting there while I fix the dinner. I said, oh baby, go fix all the dinner you want. Right. But now I'm coming to eat, I'm gonna get them to go eat. Right. Wanna break it to you? No, I couldn't get it. Right. You saw you know, I don't want you to feed me. Come right. on. Right. Feed yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. We need to give people hope. Yeah. Yes. There are people in this church right now, I guarantee you, in here right now, going through some going through some sick work. Right yeah. And some of them can't they, they look around and say, I can't see no way out of this thing. Jesus. It's up to us to give them hope. Yeah. It's up to let them know, hey, baby, it ain't going to be like this all way. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. If not, then you got to trust God. Isn't that right? Yeah. 
the other thing we need to understand about this chapter, everyone who came to Jesus, they were not seeking no change. No. Yeah. You're going to be noticed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But I want them to come anyway. Yeah. And the reason I want them to come is because just in case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. Come on. Yeah. Just in case they came to be nosy. Yeah. And they go back changed. Yeah. But you got to understand that everybody that's, that's in the group with you, they're not for the group. No. No. They come to see what they can shake up or mess up. Isn't that right? Amen. Right. So some came seeking change while others came seeking information. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After John preaching, the people had a desire to be baptized. He all he did was told them the word. Yeah. See, our problem in the church is we won't say everything else but the word. Come on in. Come on to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. All yeah. that are heavy laden. Yeah. And I, 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 the Lord it. say, I'll give you yeah, yeah. rest. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Uh, he say, my yoke is easy. Yeah. And my burden. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. He said, I ain't going to put more on it. Mm. Well, now and then I'll step out of the way and I'll let you keep putting it on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he said, the reason I do that, uh -huh. Because I, I, I try to tell you, I ain't put more on you, but you hard headed. Yeah. You keep trying to put it on yourself. Yeah. And the reason I let you get it so heavy, then what you got to do? You got to surrender to Him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sometimes the Lord do get heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to go to Him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. But let me tell you something before you go to Him, know it. Yeah. Mm. Now, probably some of us don't know it. Yeah. Mm. That's right. John told them to be intentional. Mm hmm. About changing their way. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't be haphazardly as you're trying to walk this, this life. Yes. Yeah. You gotta be intentional about everything you do a lot of times. Yes. Huh? Yes. You got all the you got all 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 the stuff out there that makes some good biscuits? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But if you don't put the ingredients together right, yeah. biscuits ain't gonna come out right. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Amen. Not enough flour <laughs> or too much flour. All right. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Not enough flour, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. if, if you boil a lot, you not enough flour, you have a lot of, you have, you have a lot of dish today. <laughs> <laughs> too much flour. Y'all help me out now. Come too on. much flour. Don't. <laughs> you don't have nothing. <laughs> you, you can cook them in the egg, but there won't be nothing. So you have to know, you can't be help Yes, Lord. You got to know intentionally on what you're doing. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm hitting somebody about some this today. Right. <laughs> this is good when it cooks right. Amen. And when it comes right out of that stove, they shut up right. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. When I was a little boy coming up, Mama used to cook that whole kick three. Put that bad boy on top of the stove. Amen. Get that, get that. And, I, and, I, and you really didn't want to share it with nobody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All you want to do is pull it out, sit it on the table, cut that top off, put that butt on there, Come on and let that old old boy serve, old king serve, whatever old king <laughs> That's when they cook right. But when they cook right, ain't nothing, ain't, 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 ain't nothing on the syrup going even high. But you got to be intentional. Amen? Amen. In his walk, John also warned them, don't say that I'm Abraham is your father. Come on. In other words, the people were trying to say they're going to get there because Abraham was their father. Uh -huh. In other words, that lineage. That's how we do in church today, don't we? My, my, my granddaddy, great, great granddaddy named Billy Joe Hart. <laughs> what that supposed to mean? He lived for on. himself. That's right. You got to live for yourself. <laughs> Big Billy Joe Hart and done died his own. Come on, come on. He died for himself. Yes. If you ain't met Jesus for yourself, be <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 
Abraham? Yes, yes. You got to come seeking Christ for yourself. Yes. Yes. Repentance. Yes. Your grandparents or parents, salvation cannot save you. No. You must seek Jesus on your own. Amen. 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 The other thing I found out about this text was that <laughs> when Jesus showed up, <coughs> things changed. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When John saw Jesus come, oh, yes. he knew that was Jesus. Yes. He wanted Jesus to baptize him. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But one thing I love about Jesus, uh -huh. he knew the protocol. Yeah. He knew the process. Yeah. He knew in order for him to get where he had to go, he had to go through the process first. Yeah. Yeah. And so he told John, you can't do that, baby. Yeah. You got to baptize me. Yeah. That was your purpose. Uh -huh. That's why you were born. Yeah. That's why you my cousin. Yeah. 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 Right. Yes. See, see, see. God kept it in the family box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not only was you my cousin, you my first cousin. Yeah. You're close. That's yeah. right. And so, and so, he baptized mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Right. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. When Jesus shows up, yeah. things begin to happen. A hymn writer by the name of Rufus H. Daddy mm -hmm. wrote the words to this song. What a wonderful change yeah. Yeah. in my life yeah. has been wrought yeah. since Jesus came into my heart. Yeah. I have life in my soul mm -hmm. for which long I have sought since Jesus came into my heart. Yeah. When Jesus is in your heart, change will come. Yeah. You can't help but change when you have an encounter with Jesus. Yeah. Some people say, man, I, I have an encounter with it. But you ain't changed. Mm. I know y'all laugh when I say that. Don't say it. Don't say it. But when a change comes, we ought to know about a change. Isn't that right? Something about your life ought to be exemplified on the outside that you made a change. Amen. Amen. Brother Christopher Holly used to cuss all day long. <laughs> <laughs> now he cuss half a day. <laughs> change came. Yeah. Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't there yet, but he ain't in the process of getting there. And then one day he's going to come and all the cousins are going to be gone. And he said, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What a wonderful change yeah. in my life yeah. has been wrong. That's what he be saying. Yeah. Every sin of Jesus yeah. came in too. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. In that text, he talks about a change. Yeah. Uh -huh. The people came and been baptized. Yeah. When Jesus came, John began to flip that thing. Yeah. And John knew when he, when he finally told him, we got to go through this thing, buddy, yeah. in order for salvation to come today. Come on now. Yeah. And then at the end, mm -hmm. when the baptism took place, yeah. all right. the Bible says that after he was baptized, uh -huh. it says that Jesus mm. came up out of the water. All right. Yeah. And something happened. Yes. The Bible says that the Spirit of God mm. fell upon Jesus mm -hmm. and spoke to the people. Yes. Amen. This is my son. Uh -huh. I sent him mm -hmm. yes. to save the world. Oh, yes. But we need to understand that not only did he come to save the world, yes. but with the Spirit of God, he makes it possible. Yes. For us to enjoy life. Yes. You see a lot of us not enjoying life. No. Because we don't have the spirit of God in us. Amen. See everybody got us fool. Mm -hmm. That we got to go out here and do foolish things. Yeah. To enjoy 
life. Don't get me wrong, uh, if we all tell the truth, before we were saved, we were something else. Nobody could tell us nothing. Even when our parents was talking to us, we'll stand there and look at them. As soon as they get through talking, and we walk out the door, I don't know what they're talking about. But we thank God they didn't give up on us. I thank God that they prayed for us night and day. For the Bible says that when the Spirit of God comes, He's going to do some things in our life. When we look back over our life, and we look at all the stuff we done gone through. And we look back how things was. And we look where we at right now. We know that God has been doing a mighty work in our lives. Ain't it? The things I used to do. I done slowed down doing them. The things I used to say. I done slowed down saying them. You heard me say, I ain't saying nothing about you stop. You just slow down a little bit. You don't say them as much as you used to say them. Because you're still striving to get to that perfection with God. I don't mean to mess you up. But as long as we're living, we're still striving. Trying to make a hundred. Because we know 99 and a half won't do I know it sounds like somebody said, when I'm going to get a hundred. And I have to remind you, you won't get the hundred until you leave here. Amen. But God needs to know that you're trying. You're trying. And when the Spirit of God falls on you. It ain't my spirit. Yeah. When the Spirit of God falls on you. For the Bible reminds us that his spirit is already inside of me. Isn't this amazing about him? He's so big that he covers the world and could be so small that he could be inside of me at the same time. It's just something about the name of Jesus. His spirit. The church is losing. Because we have allowed the spirit of God. To leave out the church. We talking about my church. It ain't your church. Let's give God his church back. I don't know about you. But I need that spirit to keep falling on me. I need that spirit to be a part of who I am. I need that spirit when I wake up in the morning and when I go to bed late at night. I need that spirit when people are cussing me out and I can't hear them cuss, but the word hears them cuss. I need that spirit when people try to put traps in my life. And he the only one knows where they're at. And he tells me, Sister Ruby, watch it. There go right there. He just reminds us. And no matter how old we are, no matter how young we are, if we trust him, he'll watch out for us one. Huh? Amen. The Spirit of God can't beat it. No matter how you try, his Spirit is always with us. Amen. Let us stand up all over this place today. If there's one today. And you know you're not saved. Let me say this to you. Some of us have been in the church a long time. And someone told us about virtue of coming and joining the church. That everything is right. And so we came and we joined the church, but we never did convert. 
we, 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 we came and put our name on this physical building, but we're still lost because we're not written in the Lamb Book of Life. We don't have we, we don't have the relationship with Jesus like we should. But we keep believing that if I keep coming to church and sitting here, I know I'm saved. And you ain't gonna tell me, Rev, I ain't saved. I can't tell you what you are with that. I'm just laying it out to you that you may not be what you think you are. And you may need to come back and say, Lord, I did not know. I don't know if I'm really saved. If you got a question about it, can you come to him? He said, Lord, today I'm going to give my life to you. It was a question. So now I'm going to make it real and watch your relationship increase. Amen. Quiet. That's what him said. Come on. Salvation comes to the house today. God is calling you. God is calling you. you a spiritual being. Yes. Thank you 
I thank you for all that you've done for us. When the hymn writer wrote the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and grief to bear. Lord, what a privilege. Lord, it is to carry everything. Everything, Lord, to God in prayer. Then you remind us that there is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, no one can heal all our soul diseases. God, we thank you for being the kind of God that you are. We know you are a healer. God, we know you are a protector. God, we know you are a provider. We even find out, God, that you are a counselor. Thank you. Thank you for calming our nerves. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us back. Thank you for showing us favor. Can't nobody, nobody do me like Jesus. You pick me up one day and you plant my feet on solid ground. Then you took me, God, and you bent me around. Can't nobody, nobody thank you Lord thank you for being a savior thank you Lord for being who you are thank you for loving me help me now Jesus help me now Jesus help me now it's in Jesus name we pray amen as you get up and head back to your seat. If you head back to your seat, tell somebody Jesus loves them and so do I. stay on top of things. Yes. And all I can do is I got to keep doing what I do. Amen. 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 And uh, I think I think most people y'all know that I'm, I, I might say things, but I ain't never say nothing to hurt your feelings. Thank you, Lord. I always try to say things in a loving way. Amen. Amen. I'm going to lift you up. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All hearts and minds okay? Amen. All right. Let us stand. Amen. The doxology. Praise God from whom all
grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Let us all say, Amen. Amen.